Countess Ilzo Villaremi, plastic, one-time queen, mistress of the laurel, songstress with the sittern, music delicate as dandelions. In the days when a mighty queen, benevolent, bequeathed an abundance of awards alongside her gracious king, dwelling in the delights of delectable foods, she seeks also the sage of the Anglo-Saxons, language, history, and the arts. Midrealm won't find a worthier woman as queen than she. I wish to wind a tale told to this throng of our kindred once king, the warrior Earl Wigthane. Question does not come of aptitude in arms, clad in chain of gold and crassled coronet, but dare not doubt his sincerity of spirit, with kindness and care as strong as swords. For not yet one march of the moon has crossed since crown was carried off, yet merrily the man covets to consort his noble lady love, as she takes on tournament most sacred and sovereign. Viscount, strong with warrior's fire, Arianne, when her grace inspires, to conflicts fierce, their souls aspire, the dragon's throne, their hearts desire. Viscount stands with strength and pride, Arianwen, his radiant guide. Through battles fierce, they side by side, mid-realm's honor they will provide. Warrior's heart and queenly grace, hand in hand they set the pace. In the fray, they find their place as mid-realm's hope, their fates embrace. Arianwen, with night in stride, journey forth where heroes bide. Dragons thrown, their dreams allied. Victory sought, hearts open wide. Arianwen, spirit beams in mid-realm's land of hopeful dreams. In regal courts, their visage gleams with kip her night where valor streams. Duchess Morgan, fierce and bright, stands as grace, a queen of right. Viscount Kip with kingly might, hope-filled dragons, mid-realm's light. When weaving, she must carefully be sure to twist, just so the fibers flowing merrily and guide them where they must go. Now Norel, cup in hand, observes the work that she has done. The jaguar cat who proudly stands, well ready to see the fight won. Through patience, care, and certainty, this stoward lady helps others to find and realize their dreams and no one more than her brother. These loving siblings seek the crown and bring the mid-realm great renown. A light gentle maiden upon the green inspired love, honor, bountiful of heart Grace bestowed on all who are seen, rich in beauty, give gifts of all your art. Caring is she, with loving hands bestow, wise is she, speaking eloquent truth. Loving is she, encouraging all to grow, compassionate is she, her love doth soothe. Voice like a wren, joy in her most pure tones, passionate heart, she gives freely to all from lands far away yet by all is known on her rests our hope no harm shall befall mighty warrior strides forth her favor bears bring honor to field for his lady most fair
Jalida al Hassana, a praise to her name, the heart of a dragon with passion aflame. She serves with compassion, with kindness and grace. She serves at events and ethereal space. By day she maneuvers, by afternoon raises the spirits of those in her kingdom with praises. And nights that are most blessed nights to come by are nights where Jalita will dance under sky. A wonder, a beauty, sultana by frame, and poets ensure you remember her name. A weaver of intricate webs known worldwide, Jalita al Hassana, her knight at her side. Her champion, Killian, knight brave and true, with swords shining silver and lotus of blue. For swords without flowers are weapons of death, as kings without roses do not long draw breath. Seek twixt five-fold lakes a star in northern skies, her noble brow adorned by pearl-topped coronet. Hear her words of counsel, gentle yet wise. See her festal board to welcome guests tis set, to give of her bounty and serve with her might. All with grace and honor, such is her delight. O jewel of cinnabar, so shouldst thou be known, till valor sets thy light on the dragon's throne. Behold the coming silvered onyx dawn, a shining lady crowned with regal light. Look now, with Aurus lion, she comes anon. Behold the coming silvered onyx dawn. Make no mistake, she clearly be no pawn, but queen may be, most excellent and right. Behold the coming silvered onyx dawn, a shining lady crowned with regal light. Callum McDavy, lying a limb, graceful as a swan a swimming, cast your eye a boon to seek him, wa for man ye are to make him, scrubbing, tower, and pile of dishes, setting brooms and mops to swishes, carting cargo like a great ox, giving counsel like a sly fox, on the list field, plate a clankin', at the anvil, tinkin', tankin', Hodging through a codex dusty, stirring up a compound fusty, glowering grim, every guardian troll, sentry o'er telecounters bold, addressing Cleflin's Penzik bunch, we could have snow, then you'll have lunch. Kneeling afore a wee bairn, has set a braw helm on their gay head. Wa mickle licked, drops a wa gloom. Tis Callum's smile, the thought was soon. <laughs> of this Minoan I sing praise, calling the muse of her island over the depths to Achaean watch shores there. There where I first beheld measureless grace as she strode from the trireme. What knowledge she brings us, wisdom she scatters with infinite joy, like the crocus's spice fills Creta's immortal skies. She advances this dream that her night shares, rooted in purpose from birth. This day, while he fights for her honor, she will count blows as she once counted coins of the realm, knowing each one weighs on the future that she serves without ceasing. For here is her service, loving her kingdom, supporting and teaching, 
uplifting our spirits with laughter and triumph. Delight everlasting. This is her heart's song. She strongly strides with purpose, her face beautifully beaming a smile that shines warmly from the heart. Inspiration radiating forth to all. Strongly she projects her ideals, wonderfully overflowing with love. Charity for the people, for the dragon realm. The one who brings her forth to cherish, the one to make her mid-realm's queen. They are joined lovingly together, beckoning all to joyfully join them in their happiness. Who slings arrows for Midrum's pride? One whose patience knows no bounds, whose quiet determination encourages all, one who finds joy in family and friends, who sings the praises of the people, one whose voice shields her queen. Now comes kind Ortea, Sivard's inspiration, a noble woman worthy of a crown. Pride with flaming hair, both hands clutching jugs to share and quench the weary fighter's prayer for water clear. Elena hears the cannon blare to charge the field both here and there and grant relief with liquid care, but show no fear. She draws those to whom life's been cruel and gently leads them to her stool to guide them to our game's good school and find their fun. Honest, earnest, calm, and cool. She holds forgiveness as a rule, but speedily spots silly fools with, and you're done. Her queen's retainer grins and sighs and follows, never asking why to hold the bag and tie the tie. She knows what's next, what's needed, and what's nigh from sights within her inner eye. Succeeds where others merely try to smile when vexed. Bana Weister, she of the oeuvre, who manages the fine fabric's curve. Elena gifts with shining verve and grace renowned, with practice, patience, knowledge, nerve, and runs toward fire, and ne'er swerves from duty diligent to serve her mid-realm crown. Captain Christ, 
Here is Mistress Bronwyn Snowden. Perseverance, blessed indeed. Honor her for honor's sake. Aligned she is with sovereign's need. Bryce's consort, witty, bright, tenacious, caring, noble sight. Bulldog's loyalty she bears, in service to kingdom with care. Fathom greatness, ponder strength, a queen is made of certainty. The black swan rises, born on wings of love and light, unwavering in kindness and wisdom so serene. Soaring ever outward to become the Dragon Queen. A champion of good, she protects the just and right and crushes all oppressors with her bravery and might. A more stalwart defender this kingdom's never seen. The Black Swan rises and rising not alone, but lifts others in her flight guiding both the graybeard and the novice newly seen, offering her counsel and a taste of her cuisine. Let her heart bring victory as she blazes strong and bright. Heart, the black swan rises. Let me sing a song, let me tell a tale, one of a duchess whose deeds are beyond compare. Duchess Bree of Writer's Keep works so hard without much sleep. A pelican who, like her peers, has done great service for years and years. Once a queen of peace and a queen of war, her reign will be remembered forevermore. A seneschal, a leader of baroness war, all these things and so much more. A woman of science she is believed to be. She collected icebox magnets from you and me. Penguins, they say, are her favorite bird. It is believed she would have a whole herd. So come, let us celebrate her this day, our beloved Duchess in every way. She makes her wondrous garden grow with warmth of heart and skill of hand. Focused as the archer's bow, she makes her wondrous garden grow. These are the joyous crops she sows, truth and kindness throughout the land. She makes her wondrous garden grow with warmth of heart and skill of hand. To fill the dragon's realm with light, we look to Chrysanthemum to pray, to scribe the future shining bright to fill the dragon's realm with light, for service is her heart's delight. Glad as the dawn sun's golden rays, to fill the dragon's realm with light, we look to Chrysanthemum to pray. Quinnell of many talents wears with pride an etched breastplate, a show of artistry for Erin Freed, and not herself she vied to claim a new estate of high degree. A tiny hitch. Do they disagree? Erin Freed, too, would give Quineld a crown. His buckler faced against the enemy, adjusting his stance, never backing down. At odds and yet aligned they seek renown, 
each as a champion for their consort. The day is won. No time to play the clown as newest scions of the royal court. Once sergeants in a kingdom most adored, which one lays claim to beauty and which the sword? Our dry, dry plains lack waves languor. Bound by new songs, sirens outpour. Morgana trades shapes from folklore. Shrinks tail for wings, flies northward. Follows pick sword fight with candor. Finds winter cold, softens indoors. With dragons, here be phosphor. New quest, Lord Rivendell's splendor. And shenanigans for uproar. A crown would make you dragon evermore. Your Majesty, this completes the processional of the mountains for today's tournament. Your Majesty, invite forward the members of the Order of Chivalry participating in the tournament today to swear their fealty at this time. I'm here to
the tournament commence.